if you see i have already uh, made the connector beads and uh, it's it's completely dry to touch this is a jhumka mold i've lined it with a little bit of oil and that's the size i'm going to be using i usually don't go beyond that particular size because i think the earring just becomes really heavy that's a well kneaded ball of clay uh, that's oil um, like i said it's already lined with oil and uh, i just drop in this ball of clay give it a press and then cut off the excess using my fettling knife place it in the center of your palm grip it well and begin to scoop scooping is a necessary technique uh, just helps your uh, helps the earring to be much lighter i put it back into the uh, jhumka mold to regain its shape get rid of any kind of minor cracks uh, if you see any on the surface you can use water marking the center using parts of a pen using my fettling knife adding a couple of designs the zigzag uh, pattern using my fettling knife again in case you don't happen to have a fettling knife you can also use a regular knife using my uh, using this little nozzle you can also use a ballpoint pen refill there you go the designing is completely ready i put it back into the jhumka mold to regain the shape be gentle this time you don't want to smudge off the designs that are already been done we add a few ghungru beads at the base at this stage you can obviously choose to add stick beads or ghungru beads based on the choice based on your personal choice now for the stud this is of a thickness of 0.25 cm and using a square shaped cookie cutter i cut out the shape adding a few designs to the stud using my fettling knife followed by a nozzle adding a few um stick beads on the top of the stud now it's time to put all of them together I am using a gauge 26 nichrome wire uh, U pin for all of this. Now if you see the jhumkas are completely ready and uh, they can be they I'll probably leave it to dry for a couple of days and then uh, we'll fire it in an electric kiln. Once fired, it's time to paint. So if you see uh, the jhumkas are already fired, it's got this nice light uh, terracotta color. The paints that I'm going to be using today are antique gold, grey, black and silver. The brushes that I'm going to be using are mostly a broad brush and a liner brush. I've also used I mean a a small brush just in case. For this particular earring I'm going to be mixing more grey with a little bit of black and that's silver and gold on the palette. So this is basically uh, a combination of grey, more grey, very little black, and uh, it gives me this uh, this kind of a tuna grey uh, kind of a color. It's just a you can just call it as a really dark shade of grey. Um, that's probably the closest description. using my uh, liner brush adding a few details um, to the earring to the jhumka i think gold and silver just look really good together um, especially on a background like this 
you know i think when it's when it's on a darker background also it looks good and um, that's doesn't that doesn't that already look like a pretty border adding a few details using my liner brush i'm going to be using only silver and gold to basically paint all of the little designs um, on this entire jhumka adding a little freestyle drawing i mean obviously people who know me or have been watching my videos uh, know how much i enjoy doing that kind of drawing um, you know just freestyle patterns um, so yeah i just thought i'll include that as well on the earring so for all of this i have uh, used only my liner brush and all of the paints are basically diluted nothing is uh, thick everything has a couple of drops of water uh, added to it and there you go the jhumka is painted doesn't that look really pretty i mean it's a beautiful color combination doesn't look too loud or doesn't look too eye hitting uh it's time to varnish this is the product i use give it a good shake and transfer a little bit of the contents into a small bowl or a container and apply a generous quantity all over the jhumka i suggest you do this in parts especially if there is you know if you have ghungru beads at the base because they'll just have a tendency to stick to each other So now that the jhumka rather the varnish is also dry it's time to uh, assemble I'm using a pair of uh, gold uh, stud posts for this and the glue that I use is E6000 I let it dry for about 3 days and there you go the jhumkas are absolutely ready and they are absolutely beautiful I really like the way uh, these have turned out. I really hope you enjoy watching this video everyone. Please do let me know what you think of it in the comment section. Thank you so much for your time and thank you so much for watching.